Good afternoon. It's uh, quarter past three on Monday the 30th of July. And I'm sitting down at Mum's. I'm actually on her back doorstep. Peggy is sitting over to the left of me. There she is. Peggy! He's a good girl. Hello. Smile. <laughs> I don't know where Cassie is. She disappeared indoors. Anyway, I'm here on my own at the minute. My brother's nipped out. My mum and stepdad are nipped out. So, took this opportunity to make a video. Oh, just got to stand up. Right. It's been raining today and it's been rather overcast, but it's still warm. Uh, I'm going to start this area, I think. Here we go. Here is the beginnings of what will be the model railway room. We just run out of materials. We've got to get some. <clears throat> you can see we've had some rain. Look at that. Uh, so almost got the floor done. Just run out of floorboards. We've got down that side to do. You can see the gap at the end there, and just this end piece. <coughs> uh, and that wall, but it's got probably another two uprights to put in that bit there, and that wall's finished. Uh, here is the beginnings of the pond. Um, it's going to be slightly raised above the ground. I think a couple of levels of bricks, I can't remember. I don't know exactly how high above the ground my stepdad's going to do it, but he's um, got to put in a layer of concrete in here. Um, and these boards are just to make sure the edge is nice and smooth and not rough and jagged. Because obviously the pond, pond, the pond, the pond liner is going to go over that you don't want to put holes in it uh, still two more rows of bricks to put on this and then that's gonna have a nice path laid on it and be brought up level with that bit over the back there which you may end up having to redo as well because uh, I don't know if you can see that from here it's cracking quite badly now and falling to pieces uh, we're going to leave a slope in there so we can get like the uh, carts up and down. Go around this way. Yeah, I've got my bike trailer here. I'll show you why that bike trailer is here in a minute. <clears throat> a couple of reasons. I want to give it a trial run. Or more so, the tow bike a trial run. Um, and I had some stuff I want to bring up anyway. This workshop's not changed, it's just tidy. <laughs> this was a complete mess. It was a trip hazard walking in here because that cart of wood that's over there, all of that was all, let me zoom out, that would help, was all over this floor. And uh, when we first put all these tools back in here from the old brick shed up the garden there, which is now my brother's uh, office, um, we didn't put everything in place straight away. We only did sort of half of it, so there's still tools laying everywhere. It's all done now. I have no idea where that sign came from. I really don't, so don't ask. <laughs> It's something my stepdad acquired. This has got to go in the model railway room, but I've got to get it working, but the circuit itself is knackered, so I've got to find a replacement. Yeah, I'm gonna have an angle grinder in my workshop as well. I'm gonna stand right there, he's letting me have. But I don't know which angle grinder till he comes back, because there's two up here. I don't need that bloody great thing. I don't suppose it matters really, because they're both the same, but I just, Depends which one he wants. <clears throat> I've got one of these at mine as well, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough room. 
I don't know if my stepdad's going to want to swap it for this one. Again, I'm not fussed. As long as I've got one that works, I don't care. Pardon me. But I uh, would like some tools like that so I can just sit in my own little workshop over there and uh, do my own sort of small metal work and whatnot. And so here's the hitch, how that works for my trailer, you see. I've got a chain that goes around and it's literally three bits of angle iron. Hole drilled in there to put the bolt through on the trailer hitch. Hole there, hole there. Two there to hold the three bits of angle iron together and this chain. The chain is just there for support really. Just to stop, you know, the, the hitch itself from um, hitting the floor. And it just bolts onto your wheel axle. Which is why I like this um, type of drop out here. Not the angled slotted ones it makes it a lot easier to put the hitch on. I can actually put the hitch on with the bike upright like that. Uh, could do with a bit of tuning on the bike, but it works. So I'm happy. Uh, I want to take that back with me tonight. Maybe, or I might stick it in. Actually, I think I'll just throw that cover back over it. Take it back home tomorrow night. There's the trailer. There's my scooter. No plastics on it. That's going in the shed later. Uh, you see that valve I need screws to this. This is the bottom of the tank and it screws to that. So, of course, I need to get that replacement for Thursday. That's the first thing on my list of things to get. So here's my little workshop. I think if I'm going to put a pillar drill in here, or a drill press, whatever you want to call it, um, might have to put in like a little bit of surface there to stand it on maybe. Because um, I've got this to bolt down, that's going to go somewhere up here I think. I could do that later actually. Or at least get the holes drilled for it for the bolts. Um, yeah, so I've got all the plastics for the moped there. Um, wheel bearings and everything seem fine. I know all the bearings seem fine. I think all I need to do is get a pair of brake pipes, a pair of tyres, and that part for the fuel tank and put it all back together and she's good to go. I know the indicators already work. I ain't got no bulbs blown there. Don't know about the headlight and the actual tail light. The brake light works, but... I haven't had it running, so I don't know if the main lights work. A little opening window, going back to the shed. Sudden change of subject right there. <laughs> yeah, quite looking forward to getting that up and running and on the road. It's going to cost me 25 quid for a replacement um, V5 ownership paper thing. There's my bench. Yes, I've got electrics in here. My very rustic looking fuse box in the corner. <laughs> Clipped up with cheap shit cable clips. Do not buy these. They're crap. Um, so that's for the floodlight that I put up out right here. See? And I got one fluorescent up there. Another one up there. Socket there and there, but they're not wired up yet because I haven't got a long enough piece of um, cable to go from that socket to that one. Uh, so I've, if I have enough when I get paid Thursday, I'll have to get a length. I think I only need something like five meter length. That might just go to that. If it doesn't, then I'll just use a junction box like I have there. And up there, actually, I didn't have a long enough one to go down to that fluorescent light, so I just put a junction box in. <clears throat> Same there, because these floodlights that you buy from China, they have these shitty little bits of flex connected onto them, and it just, you know, I figured that was the safest way to actually connect it. Um, got my cupboard there couple of my boxes. I brought all this down on the trailer today. That's not heavy. 
it's awkward getting it onto the trailer on my own, but it's not heavy. Um, so yeah, I didn't have a heavy trailer coming down here. The brakes held up good enough on my towing bike, so... Oh, if you're wondering why the roof is looking green, it's because I've got a green tarpaulin on it because we had a leak. Well, we had a leak. Ever so slight leak. <laughs> um, believe it or not, not where these joins are. Because my stepdad put some duct tape on the other side. Um, most of it, there's a bit of um, leakage through the join on this one, but most of it is actually through these old screw holes. Because this pla <coughs> excuse me, this plastic sheeting was on the old tin shed that was over there that we took down. Um, so what I'm going to do when I get paid, I'm going to get some silicon sealant and uh, do a spot of sealing around here. I'm going to seal all the the, the um, two main joins up that go this way, you know, go lengthways rather. Uh, Plug the screw holes up, all the ones I can find. There isn't actually that many. Um, I think most of it is actually up this end. And I might just go around the edge just to make sure. Just make sure it is um, properly water tight in there. There's my opening window. Um, that lawnmower out there, that's got to live in here, so I'm going to clear some room, I think, and uh, get that in. I haven't got a lot to bring down, to be honest. I've just got everything that's in the um, closet up in my hallway. I think I've got most of what I want from the shed, apart from a little chest of drawers. I've got to bring those down here, um, which I'll stick under this bench. But uh, other than that, everything else I've got to bring down from upstairs. So that's lots of trips up and down the stairs. I'm not looking forward to that. Take you twice as long because I'm on my own. Uh, my brother's going to be busy, so I can't ask him for help either. <sighs> I've got baggage. I have no idea what that is, but I'm hearing a lot of what sounds like squeaking dry metal joints, you know. A joint that's meant to move, but is ran out of grease. <laughs> that's what it sounds like. Yeah, anyway. I know, I'll talk you through what I've got set up here. So, I've got some uh, small parts organiser here. I'm going to put all the little bike parts in like these cable stops and valves probably um, I've got my hacksaw I've got a clamp a vice clamp thing a couple of G clamps um, I've got my extractors there for my bottom brackets some ex um, long reach sockets puncture repair kit rubber mallet big wrench there a uh, couple of junior hacksaws and some other assorted tools all on the back wall. Full set spans. I haven't got sizes 6 and 7 because I don't use those anyway. So I suppose a full set aside from the two smallest. <laughs> and it actually goes up to 19. I don't have like a 20 or a 22 or anything on here either. Which again doesn't worry me because I don't use those. And... Uh, Crap, we'll go back to the house. I've got a set of these as well. These are double-ended, so we've got 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I should have a 14, 15 as well. I've got one in here, but it's not for that set. It's a different one, and it is actually. We'll go get that. Oh, I didn't show you that, look. We've got the wall in, that's going to be a flower bed, and there's going to be a flower bed going down there as well. That's where the power comes for my shed, by the way. I've got to clip that to the wall and partially bury that cable. It's going to be under a flower bed, so I don't need to go too deep. 
some bike parts here that I've got to take over there. There it is. I want it. Decent one. I just find these are um, good because they're longer and you can get better leverage on them. So they're better for the tougher bolts. I really could do with another set of these. I do like having two of each size. But, uh, there we go. I've got my chain splitters there. The other extraction tools there. The small bike parts already organised here. These are all the small brake parts. You know, brake noodles, bridge cables, cable bridges, more bridge wires there. Cables new when they used to actually make front brake cables they don't do it anymore they just make one length of cable now um, which you just cut down to whatever length you need so I've got a bunch here that I've salvaged as well as well these are suitable for front brakes uh, load of rear ones there some brand new one still in the pack and uh, some that are again salvaged but long enough to be rear. I've got racing bike cables, three speed gear cables, one with a shifter on it, there with the white outer, three speed shifter cables with a black outer, and then three lots of outers there in three different colours, and just a tray of mixed there because they're the really short ones. Which I, th I don't think I'm going to get these in there. No, that ain't gonna work. I need to find a home for these. Um, still a fair bit to do. I'm sort of debating on putting some shelving under there of some sort. But I've still got boards like this out there. I think we've still got another two full ones. So, yeah. I'm happy with that. I still see water dripping through every now and again. Anyway, the phone's ringing, so I'm going to end the video here. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you like this video. Something a bit different. And I just had to show you that. Look, I'm being watched. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.